HY8 can design lots of energy dissipators per HEC14. And we'll try the riprap basin that's in HEC14. We choose an external dissipator and we tell it we want stream bed level structures and we're going to use the riprap basin which only works when fruit is less than 3 and our fruit is 0.91. We can use the envelope curve values or the best fit curve values and envelope curve is, curve is more conservative. The biggest question it wants to know is what the D50 is that we're going to use for this riprap basin and it tells us that the minimum HS over D50 equals 2 is obtained if D50 is 0.295. So if we're a little bit lower than that, then our HS over D50 will be bigger than 2. So let's try going 0 0.25 feet, which is 3 inches. Let's make our D max 0.5 feet. And it gives us all of our answers for the basin. All these numbers refer to the diagram in HEC14. We have a length of a basin. We have the length of the scour pool, the length of the apron. We have HS, which is the height of the scour uh, pool, etc. So you can refer to this figure, this diagram, for all these numbers. And based on that, you can easily see that the, the total rock lined basin, including the apron here, is 12 feet long. It's 9.5 feet wide at the end, etc. And that's all it takes to get a riprap basin.